the experiment begins. This is my first cup of decaf. Um, so let's give it a try and see what it's like. Not too bad. So I've just finished my first cup of decaf coffee and taste wise it wasn't too bad actually. I haven't noticed any sort of effect from not drinking caffeine so far. Um, it's now nearly dinner time um, on Monday morning and I had my last caffeinated coffee at round about before 6 o'clock on Sunday so it's been well over 12 hours now um, oh, yeah, well over 12 hours since um, I had my last coffee so not going too bad actually hello friends well I've just been out and bought this coffee from the co-op I have I'm going to try and resist opening it I've only had one coffee this morning and to be honest with you it's not had much effect um, at all on me not drinking caffeine. Um, I'm pretty good with these things with um, sort of willpower sort of thing. I don't tend to um, struggle um, in that way. But as I say, I'm looking forward to opening this one. But I'm going to resist the urge as, as far as I can. So, yeah. We'll see how this tastes um, when it comes round to rev reviewing it. Well, it's the end of the day on the decaf and um, it's been not too bad here, um, to be honest with you. I've had about six cups, which is about, I'd say, maybe one or two cups less than I normally would have. Um, I haven't craved um caffeine at all um so if you wanted to give up um caffeinated coffee i'd say definitely go go for the decaf um like i say though i don't really crave um things um as such so maybe it's just one of those days where they haven't really felt like um coffees i have those days every now and again I haven't really noticed any sort of effects of not having any caffeine, no real physical um, problems or anything like that. I, um, I did resist the urge to open the um, the Colombian coffee I purchased earlier. Um, I do feel a bit more tired than I normally um, would. That's one thing I will say. Um, I haven't looked into. I haven't yet. Like, it's a bit strange to me because this coffee does taste a bit cheap. It it only costs one pound thirty nine from Aldi, so that it's not no surprise really. Um, but it must be made with robusta beans. Um, so I thought robusta beans um contained more caffeine. Um, like I say, I haven't looked into how they um, decaffeinate coffee, but that was just one thing that was um, puzzling me because you'd think the um, mainly with decaf coffee they'd use arabica coffee because that's lower in caffeine. Um, so I'd say caffeine is um, overrated, really. One thing. I will say is I did suffer with a bit of a headache earlier on, but I've been having a bit of um, trouble sleeping recently. Um, since my partner changed the bed um, sheets and mixed the pillows up, and I've lost my pillow, so I can't sleep, and my neck is killing me, which caused the headache um, today. Anyway, I took a couple of um, paracetamol, and the headache disappeared. Um, yeah, it's strange because when i mention about the pillows to women they go oh my husband's the same oh it's not a problem and when when you mention it to a fella it's like the most important thing in the world is that um you know his pillow is um paramount when he goes to bed um anyway 
I, one thing I will say about this coffee, it does taste cheap, it's not undrinkable. Um, I'll go more into the flavour of it um, on tomorrow's update. But the aroma, it's very perfumey, quite fruity, um, it's sweet, slightly chocolatey, um, slight earthiness as well. Um, it's not bad, but does smell a bit cheap, um, I will say. Um, there's an odd smokiness to this coffee as well. It, it does appear to be like a, a, a dark sort of roasted coffee. Um, it's not weak in any way. Um, but yeah, day one has been pretty easy, I would say. So let's see how day two goes. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.